This video is sponsored by Death Trick Double Blind, a non-linear detective visual novel coming March 14th to Steam and Nintendo Switch. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Second Wind. I'm Marty, I'm here with Frost, and we are here with our good friend Berserk Boy and his bird. I don't know what's, what the deal with the bird is, but I like the bird. It's a nice looking bird. Berserk bird? Berserk yeah. bird, I love that. Uh, welcome, mm. everyone, welcome to uh, this uh, 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 stream today on this lovely Thursday afternoon. Uh, we are playing Berserk Boy. This is a game that uh, um, launched just yesterday on Steam and on uh, Switch. It is a uh, Japanese indie game uh, heavily inspired by the Mega Man X and Sonic games. Uh, I got to play a little bit of a demo of it uh, the other month at Steam Next Fest. And then it came out yesterday, and so I bought it on Switch, and I'm excited to see what this Berserk Boy has in store for us. Yeah, what's he got going on here? When did we become, like, Berserk Man? Is it a Berserk Girl you fall in love a, with? Do we have a Berserk Mitzvah of some sorts? Berserk to Mitzvah? Yeah. Well, um, what, yeah what's gonna, the topic here? We're going to jump in. I have, we have no idea. We're going to learn all this. Uh, chat, let me know how uh, volumes are. Let me know how my volume is, how Frost volume is, how um, the game's volume is. I'm, I'm happy to tweak anything. To make your viewing experience great because you know what streams like this and all of your favorite videos here on second wind these are funded by viewers like you so thank you so much for your patronage your donos over uh, on youtube and uh twitch uh, your support on the merch store we really appreciate it and uh, folks like a uh, little bd small welcome to tip jar little bd little bd it's all it's all your fault bro it's all because of you it's all because of you. you disabled death all right i'm gonna keep this one oh. i'm gonna keep this one in my back pocket we're not, gonna, mode? we're not going to put it on yet, but we'll see. Not Start, yet. I, if stuff I starts know. getting frustrating. I've, I've kind of been liking those. Weird thing about uh, Bellatro, it has a, when you start your profile, it's, it has a unlock everything button. <sighs> that is good. No achievements, but unlock everything. And I'm like, oh, that oh okay. Is good. That is, oh, listen, no, if I that. gave you my, my money, my hard-earned dosh, I should just be able to let, yeah. me, let me do whatever I want with it. It's great. I think um, so. Yeah. So we got play with infinite retries or pay with set lives and face stronger enemies. Absolutely not. This is modern. This is this is 2024. I'm playing. I'm playing 2024 mode. Modern. Is this modern for their time or for ours? I think modern for our time. I think retro mode is going to be that that right. 80s 90s real crunch. We're not here for like, the crunch. Put a quarter in. Get another play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like it. Give me all the options. Oh, all right. A little chibi action. A little chibi Dude. action. Yeah, nice little art. I, you know what I like? I like a dude who's taking a nap and he's got a little snot bubble coming out. I'm gonna say that. I'm I'm a, I'm a huge fan of naps and snot bubbles. Like snot bubbles or the character like has a voracious appetite. Like yeah, give me that. Oh my god, give me Goku. Classics. Give me Goku, Goku just absolutely like uh, running through that shit. Yeah. I don't know who started that trend, but yeah, the characters with a huge stomach. Like even he came in the Western media too. Shaggy Scooby. Yeah, yeah. It was probably marijuana that started it. But you know what? Yeah, it was the <laughs> 70s, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Probably marijuana. Uh, Snake of the Garden. Marty, hot take on the Persona Three Reload DLC. I'm excited that they're doing the answer, which was the sort of epilogue released uh, as a part of Persona Three FES. Uh, that being said, I never thought it was that fun. I thought that was kind of janky originally, and I thought its difficulty was all whacked out, so hopefully they fix that up. But, yeah, more Persona's never a bad thing. Mm. And a good boy. That Some being said, when they announced, oh. uh, they announced the Persona 3 DLC yesterday, and it just, like, the trailer for it, it was like a major spoiler for Persona 3 proper, and I'm like, that game didn't come out that long ago, and it's very long, so it's funny that the official trailer just kind of spoils the ending of Persona 3. Is is it a spoiler within context, or does it tell you? It is. Like, if it, I watch it, will I know? You won't, but if you've even played a little bit of Persona 3, you'd be like, hey, where's this character? Ah, Why aren't they right. appearing at all? And, like, the context <laughs> clues are all there. 
Look at this guy. Are these guys dying, or you think they're going to space? Was, uh, I hope they're going to space. T we're TPing. Uh, yeah. Excellent. I'm getting confused because there's a little bit of voicing, but it's more yeah. like mm, it just barks. It's, yeah. It's not. Um, it's not like actually voicing the dialogue. So are we like part of this military? We have thing? a schedule to keep. We do have a schedule. You said that one. Yeah, yeah. You just kind of choose whichever line you want to voice, really. <laughs> like, ah, oh, this one's good. I'll be smart with the two dollars. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, wonderful to see you, Beastmarch. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this music is by uh, the the composer Trace Lopes, I believe is the name of uh, Mega Man or uh, Sonic Mania, and uh, even most recently Penny's Big Breakaway, the Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge game. Kind of become the uh, composer du jour of these modern retro throwbacks. Favorite, just one guy holding just it all up. Really. Load bearing director musician. I like the uh, I like the animation. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, hold on. Very, First uh, thing we did was go left. We went left instead of right. Yeah. Okay, what I threw me game. off. I'm like, you're going the wrong way, Mark. Yeah, what a time to be it's alive. Just like a manga, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, right to left. Ooh. I'm, oh. a fan, I'm a fan of this. Is uh, We get in a little, bit, uh, a little bit of Sonic here, too. Sonic loves grinding. Sonic invented grinding. I don't know if you knew that. Don't look it up, but yeah, Sonic he, invented grinding. Uh, Sonic grinding. Google. Yeah. <laughs> <Beauty>. <laughs> Google what? Sonic grinding. See what you get. Uh, my eyes. Uh, wow. Why didn't we go through the portal? I think it was kind of like us and our friend are like, hey, let's play hooky today. Oh, okay. That's what it felt like. Because we got orb fever, which I'm going to be mm. honest. I, I, as someone who suffers from orb fever on a daily basis, I, I feel that. Pondering the orb, man. Yeah. yeah. She's got, uh, our, our uh, companion has Bulma vibes, and that just might be because she has Bulma's hair color. Bulma from Dragon Ball. I see that, yeah. 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 I do like the the red kerchief, absolutely. I like that. Yeah, again, just it adds a, a little bit of movement to your character. That's why it's a lot of characters have scarves or some sort of flowy garment. Prince of Persia has them. Your guy in Journey has them. And I think it just adds a little bit of movement. It's nice. A bit of flow for everything. Yeah. Under your hair too. That's why it's so wild. Yeah. yeah. I think you'll find that Taft invented grinding. Oh, <laughs> Taft, <laughs> Taft, Taft hashtag Taft fact. Right. We learned a lot about Taft the other day. Taft mm -hmm. kind of a lame. Like not Taft didn't get a lot done in office. So, R.I.P. to Taft. He got the, the seventh inning stretch done. He, he, seventh, he more the most changed thing. the culture than, than the office. Yeah, Taft was about the vibes. I don't think anyone's ever said that, that Taft is about the vibes. But. Not then. No. They didn't vibes have vibes was, back wasn't then. a word. Yeah, they didn't have vibes. First president to invent vibes, probably Clinton. He invented tacky Honestly, as well. Tackiness. <laughs> Clinton, might have, Clinton uh, wearing those short shorts and uh, playing saxophone, I think, are very uh, was very, uh, very vibe centric. It's like, what is that? It's a vibe. It's a pretty funky looking bird. Wait, it's on fire. That's not good. Uh oh, because uh, this had something to do with the energy spikes. Listen, kid, you got to get out of here. It talks. The fall must have been worse than I thought. You got to get back to the teleporter safely. Not leaving until I find my friend. All right, Bird, let's go. Me and you, Bird. Got and Eric with the 50 R's. Basically, two characters redacted, and redacted are redacted, so they're not in the trailer because, duh, redacted, 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 redacted. So, so yep, strong spoiler for us. Damn. Yeah. I can't believe Eric just came out here and just spoiled all of just, blank, just blank, 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 Classified information. Real X-File. Oh, go berserk. More games need about... to tell me to go berserk at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I, this game copyrighted berserk now. It no did. one can say Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Miyazaki plays one uh, Berserk boy and then suddenly has like, all of his ideas for Elden Ring. Yeah, or, uh, everybody. Dark Souls. It's all Berserk. Should I watch it? Is it safe? What, Berserk? Or read it? Berserk, yeah. I, like, I hear that a lot. I've, 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 I've uh, if I'm going to be honest, I've never, I've never read it. So, um, oh, okay. I'll but I know Jay. people, people love it. Yeah, Jay loves it. Um, yeah, how's, yeah, there's like an anime, I think, in the 90s and then another more recent anime. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously the story's still not done, so I don't think there is a complete way to uh, what? finish the story. And he died. He, the, the creator, because it was like a, it was pretty much like the what's the guy's oh. name, the, the One Piece guy, but um, you know, kind of doing everything himself. And he died. Oh god, dang it! Well, it's over then, as far as I'm concerned. It's over. He goes, I go. I think he might. Uh, I think he might have left some notes for how to finish this shit. Oh. Yeah. Little contingency plan. If you're I, reading these, I'm dead, and my book's not finished. I that's mean, cool. I have a feeling that um, 
that that's what George R. R. Martin's doing, honestly. I think he finished the books and he's like, just post them when I'm dead so I don't have to deal with the fucking comments. Uh, <laughs> no, I think he's he's done. If you if you read his history, like the amount of writing that he did to finally like go finally has money later in life and he's like, I just wanna chill. Yeah. Like, you finish it. Yeah, I just wanna fucking tweet <laughs> All about fan fictions are New valid. Games. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you tweet him. You finish it. Listen, however you want this book to end, it could end that way. It's all it's all canon because it's all a big dream. Yeah. Someone's annoying Binks. No, she's she's just a weird rowdy cat in the mornings. Rowdy morning cat. Okay, so part of our thing we're doing is we're like rescuing civilians in these levels, and I think we're using these teleporters to get back. All right. So it seems like the levels have these four warp points that we can use to warp back to various points. I don't think this is a true, uh, this isn't a Metroidvania in, in the vein of having a huge interconnected world, but I believe mm. it's uh, one of its things is uh, you will be revisiting stages relatively often um, no. because uh, as you get new Berserk powers, which is, I'm assuming what these, like this wheel is, it's kind of like the Mega Man suits, um, sure. you'll be able to uh, revisit stages and be like, oh, now I can access this door or now I can get across this gap because of my cool Berserk powers. Amazing. Is, is your bird, is he, is he the equivalent of Tails? He's got like the same color palette. A little bit, but he me. seems like he's like he's magical. Like, like he knows something I don't, which okay. um, respect birds. I feel like Indeed. most birds are wise. Like owls. Owls are extremely wise. Owls are wise. I don't know. Why Why did we say owls were wise? Yeah, who created the they, wise owl um, they, trope? And why we continue it? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Leo Gill with the $5 spent my lunch break playing FF7 Remake on the deck at the gym. Felt nice to get paid to play games, so I wanted to pay it forward. Oh, thank you. Hell yeah. And Kane898, welcome to Tip Jar. Welcome, welcome. Oh, there you go. It seems like when I do this, like, I don't know, I might, I might, I'm, I'm still learning this dash thing. So it's interesting. It also has kind of, shit, why did I fold on it? Uh, it has um, these kind of spectacle fighter. Uh, if you see in the top left corner um, or top right corner, when I was in combat, it's kind of like a almost like Devil May Cry style meter. That um, as long right. as you keep beating the shit out of things, I think you you keep your combos going up. All right. And how high do you want to get it? Gotta I'm gonna be honest. I want to keep mine below one. Anything above below there, one. I'm just gonna get nervous. <laughs> I don't want to get nervous. Uh, I don't want to fly too close to the sun. No. Yeah. yeah. That's listen. I'm not Casey. Casey's Expectations. Out here. Casey's out, out here fucking getting stylish, finishing Devil May Cry 3 with uh, no problem. That's not me. There you go. Ah, Greek goddess Athena's animal was the owl, and she represented wisdom. There, there you, go. you go. Wisdom by association? What yeah. if a, what if her pet was, I don't know, like a muskrat? Yeah, would that be would that be our wise our wise animal? Wise animal there. Also, Snake in the Garden, we saw you just come on playing Power Wash Simulator. You can't trick us. <laughs> just popped online playing Power Wash. It's kind of rude do. that you're not devoting your entire uh, your entire mental capacities to us. I'm gonna be honest. Says the guy no. who all I do is multitask while, while playing games. Yeah, we're, we're second monitor. Yeah, that's fine. Listen, I'm I'd honored. be honored if I'm someone's second yeah. screen. Or on the phone, you know. Oh yeah, that's great. Like Watch on the toilet. I'm on a little tiny one. We at least get a dedicated monitor. Yeah. Maybe it might just be a single monitor tab in the back. Oh no. Oh. oh. Is he going a lot, a lot of skate, a lot of grinding? All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. like, you know, Dr. Like, Anthony you know. Hawk. How's the movement feel? Tight, Great. responsive, fluid? Yeah, real. Uh, uh, you have uh, full control midair on your jump. Yes. Uh, plus, you have that midair dash. And I believe, um, if I remember from the demo, the dash, you can. It's almost like Celeste, but instead of uh, hitting a strawberry to regain your dash, if you hit an enemy you've regained your dash so you can oh, start like chaining right. dashes together if you um if you like embrace it. the bait the daisy chain like it love it i like full control in the air yeah absolutely dash chaining oh yeah played guacamole for the first time is this better it's like a different genre different yeah different different genre i've all i'm, I'm also 10 minutes into this so I'm not, I'm not here to make any... You gotta let me know. Ten minutes in. How great uh, the, is the this? The ten-minute review. Uh, it feels nice. There's a lot of talking, <laughs> and I'm not really paying attention to anything that's happening, but that's fine. Oh, mm -hmm. we're going berserk. 
all night long. We got a berserk orb. to Marty and Frost. Uh-huh. There it is. Berserk orbs. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smack me with that bowling ball. Give Let's that, go. Give me that orb. Give me that orb. I don't. Uh, well, how do you think we're gonna? Is the orb just gonna like enter us? Are we gonna eat the orb? Oh, we're in the orb. Are we the orb? Or maybe that the, man uh, becomes the orb tra- and we become that tracks man? To, tracks it open like an egg? I don't know. An insolent ball of feathers. That is cruel. I'm on the verge of greatness. Oh, it sounds dirty. <laughs> I'm on the verge of greatness. <laughs> hubba, hubba. Oh, nice. Uh, did you play 20XX or 30XX? I don't know what those are. Uh, I did not know. Those were... Um... Uh, those were very heavily Mega Man inspired. I believe I played one of them with uh, Casey on a, on a stream on a game night, but those were uh, extremely, extremely uh, Mega Man and Mega Man X uh, inspired. Whereas this feels mm. uh, between its movement and kind of the ways its levels are designed, this feels like, yeah, Mega Man is one of its inspirations, but I'm definitely I'm a little bit of Sonic, and then even like the combat feels a little... Uh, a little, you know, weightier with the melee combat, with kind of the combo meter and everything. Like, it feels like there's a little more emphasis placed on the actual combat. Oh, a berserk point. Uh, oh, here we go. I'm on the verge of greatness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm virgin. We're virgin. You just gotta oh, shout the trigger okay. words. Oh, I wish this game had like voice activation, you know? What's happening? Like the old connect. Oh my god, that'd be great. Tom Clancy's <laughs> Berserk. <laughs> uh, Jed's, yeah, that was. These are pretty much the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, your Chaos Emeralds, your Dragon Balls, your Infinity Stones. Merge with the Or Mergin and Virgin. There we go. A Mergin Virgin. Uh, oh, my Mergin. Was that? I don't even know if that was your noise or my noise. I think that was. His I think noise. that was him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is this oh. Flame Man? Is that us? Okay. No, this is Flame Man. I think so. I, I think uh, in Mega Man fashion, I think we're going to have to uh, destroy enemies and we get their orbs and then those become our powers. So if we go through Flame Man stage, we can become Flame Orb. Oh, okay. Does that make us like, are we the bad guys? Because his goal is to collect all the orbs, and now we're doing that. So yeah, but we're doing. It's one of those like, oh no, we have. Uh, I mean, I guess that's just like the point of all religious wars is being like, no, no, no. But our side is is righteous. Don't, okay, don't oh, worry. No. That's yeah. That's more more religion in here than the upcoming Dune two game. Yeah. Concentrate, guy. You can do it. You can feel his nerves buzzing. My orbs. Oh, oh, he lost. He lost his oh. berserk power. It happens to a lot of guys. Yeah, at this age. But yeah. I don't know if you want it to happen right now. <laughs> this. That happens to Berserk Ben. It shouldn't happen to a Berserk boy. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're Berserking. And then there was Mighty Number no. 9, another spiritual successor. Oh, yeah. That was a, that was a, a huge Kickstarter flop. Well, it was officially kickstarted, but the game was really bad. That was like the creator of Mega Man oh. after he left Capcom was like, "I will make my spiritual successor," and then they a didn't and the Kickstarter was a huge hit, but then they a didn't deliver a bunch of the stuff they promised. It b the game was bad. So. Aw, the b. I'll <laughs> the, take b. Yes, I think the, that's what killed the, the b is worse. <laughs> All right, so we got energy. Uh, very Mega Man ish. Yellow Berserk orbs for defeating enemies fill up your Berserk meter. Berserk energy does not fill up automatically. Your Berserk icon should appear when you have enough Berserk energy for a special attack. Okay. So we got health, we got uh, regular fucking MP, and then we got um, special, mm-hmm. special, special attack power. So let's we go oh. Berserk, and we get the beautiful mutton chops. We get the beautiful burns in Berserk oh, yeah. mode. Oh, you can just automatically. Oh, look at this. Okay, I like this. Uh, what does this man have to say? Oh, resistance. Uh, just... <laughs> so I think you find civilians and you kind of just like warp them back home. Yeah, oh, it's like Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> it's, it's the Fulton system, yeah. Yeah. Storm of Three. New Hope, Star Wars reference. I'm mm. into it. Was like vaulting over them. Oh, okay. So yeah, 
when I when I hit the one jump. guy, I'm able to I'm able to restore my my vamps and then continue vamping. All right. Oh, I know somebody's going crazy in this game with all the vamps. Oh my god, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be excited to see uh, some games done quick. Some folks going hog wild in this game. Yeah, right there. Project boy in like one vamp. Never touched the ground. Yeah. Any percent. Yeah. <laughs> Any percent. Infinite <laughs> only vamps. Yeah. Uh, there's also the Gunvolt games, the kind of Mega Man like. Yeah, Gunvolt. I liked. I liked like Gunvolt. What are, what are we? What are we doing here? What is this? Oh, it's like a little oh. cannon. Huge power up. Surprise! What's going on here? Done. Oh, nice air combo system. God, I love a combo nice. system. Oh my god, an absolute combo. You pick two. This Where are we exactly? So I'm getting very shopping mall vibes. Yeah, well, it's it's it feels like they said it's like the city of New Hope. So yeah, I mean, I, I would yeah. imagine like the New Hope of the future just might be uh, a shopping mall. It's a big shopping mall. It's the ferns. It's the ferns. Yeah. Super Time Force in 2014. Super oh, Time Force was a fun one. one. Yeah, that that game's whole gimmick was you. So you uh, slowly built up a roster of these like time traveling warriors. That it was like a little 2D action platformer that all had different abilities. Uh, and the whole thing was you would run like the levels were kind of bullet hell, and so you'd run through the level, and you would say you make it 30 seconds in, and then you die, and then you'd restart the level as another one of your characters. But the time ghost of your first run would go along with you and do everything that you did that first time and kill any oh. enemies with their attacks. And so by the end of a level, you have like your 10 previous playthroughs all running alongside you and like doing certain, like using their rocket launchers or their machine guns or their katanas and stuff. And it was really fucking cool. I was a big fan of it. Yeah, I won't do that no more. This is what I want. I not worry about these buzzsaws. A little random buzzsaw action. You gotta save the civilian. She's got a gun. What she need us for? Yeah, she, she doesn't need us. Where's my berserk pistol? I can't. I can't open your electricity. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Boot it. Berserk. I'm, yeah, I was. I'm just trying to like give her some of my berserk energy, but she won't have it. You gotta press the button. Make her press the button. Hey, lady. <laughs> right above you. Oh, behind maybe you. Something with here. Like I have to. Oh. Get down there quick enough, or this you might have be to one of those. Connect the like, electricity. Oh my god! I couldn't imagine. No way. Because like every time oh, you hit that, oh, you get a little, it's just oh, a speed thing. Time. Oh, okay. I'm just getting filtered. That's my problem. Getting filtered by the game. The, there was no option for this. It was just don't die. It was just yeah. Not, yeah, like I'm not solving the puzzles for you too, guy. I saved you. You back, lady. Yeah. Now we're trapped forever. Now, now we live in your prison. Okay. I didn't want to mention it, but your tag says Marty Sleva. That's his name. What? People think your name is Marty Silva. Yeah, I, 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 uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I was the one who made these tags since I'm hosting the stream, and I'm going to assure you, I probably wrote my name right. <laughs> I don't know. May, may, I've misspelled my name a few times, and uh, I was. Up <laughs> oh, I've absolutely should be doing I've, that. <laughs> I've absolutely misspelled my own name. Yeah. Yeah. No. no. Uh, yes. Yeah. So my name was originally um, when my family came through Ellis Island. It was it's Polish, and so it's S L I W A, and they were like, we can't. That's not how letters work in America. So you got to just uh, you got to turn that into a V. So if that one dude would have just been fine with the W, I feel like everything would have been fine because people would have saw the W and been like, wait a minute. I have to think a little bit about this name. I don't want it. Like I, can't, I can't just immediately turn it into Silva. There we go. First time chat, Psycho. Marty, are you a video game journalist? What are we now? I don't say, I've we, never Marty? considered myself a video game journalist. We're we're in purgatory as to what we are. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I consider myself a... a, a like, 1% of me is a critic, and... Probably ninety percent of me is just trying to entertain people for two hours at a time. He's he's just your game and uncle. Yeah, so he's my gunkle. Your game uncle, your gunkle. No. Yeah, I'm most certainly not a journalist. And I'm also your game and uncle, but the one where like, yeah, what was it? Yeah, 
the younger one, the the weird uncle that's just slightly younger than you. Yeah, that's and you're like, like wait, wait this doesn't work. This generation, <laughs> generationally, shouldn't you be my cousin? No, I'm your uncle. It's fine. Don't. It's like no, yeah. relationally, I am your uncle. <laughs> Eric with the twenty hours. I am Mr. Sleva Martinez. Oh, Let's see, there you go. I was wondering what those skeletons meant, and it just meant death. So the skeletons probably just meant exactly what what you would assume they meant. Yeah, yeah, Jen. No, reclaimed. No one has that, Uncle. We don't do that. There are some parts of England where that is common. Yeah, I knew one kid whose uncle was like a year younger than them. And it blew my mind of like, no, uncles are supposed to be older. Yeah, but it depends. There's people with like uh, siblings who are way older, way younger. That's mm -hmm. how you. That's how you get that. Oh. Dun, dun. Uh, SBS with the five euros. Speaking of journalism, what's the difference between a journal and a diary? I feel like a diary implies like a daily bit of writing, whereas yeah. a journal is more like just whenever, whenever. To me, a diary is not meant to be read by others, where a journal is. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, diary feels private, whereas a journal feels like it's meant for, if not public consumption, consumption of someone. Yeah, yeah. It's just these tiny things. Huh? Oh, these little, these little get out of here. <laughs> This little chode. I'm getting attacked by this fucking wall chode. I did it. I destroyed the wall chode. Oh, my favorite. My favorite. The wall chode, the ceiling nipple. You know, these are just necessary. Do you guys not have those? What, wall chodes and ceiling nipples? No, ceiling nipples. It's like those those tiny, just in the middle of the whole ceiling, you get one tiny little white covering. Okay, I, 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 I'm not 100% sure what you're talking one. about, but I like it. All right, man. Yeah. My daughter has an aunt that's only a year older than her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can have, especially with like bigger families, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I'm the, uh, of my generation and my family, I am the youngest. And the oldest is like mid 50s. So it's like a span of like almost 20 years. And so I am yeah. like almost as close in age to uh, my nephews as I am to my cousin, who is the father. Yeah, my, my mother, I think she's only three years older than her nephew. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's well into his 40s, and that's my cousin. I'm like, what's, what's happening? Yeah, I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own, no. <laughs> little, little time paradox here, something's going on. I like when I'm building up this resistance, this makes me feel good. I gotta kill this, this robot dog first. I like it. What, what, are, what are we doing with these orbs? The orbs, the blue orbs, I believe, are for... Well, the blue orbs seem like they're score attack. But then mm. yellow orbs are uh, giving us our um, our special ability. Red orbs are uh, uh, increasing our health, I believe. Lovely. Now we're looking for look some, some core action. Well, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Rusted Moss, 40% off. Great stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, this game is part of a... Uh, there's currently a oh this feels like Donkey Kong barrels. Uh, there's currently a Metroidvania event on Steam, like met, this and this game's launch was part oh, of it, is, like a Metroidvania right fest. Now. Yeah, and I saw Russell yeah. Moss was part of it. Um, stuff like the uh, Crypt Custodian, which uh, we played and wrote about at uh, coming out of Next Fest and stuff. So yeah, yeah Steam's starting to have more and more of those kind of specialized uh, good specialized fests, which is cool. 100%. Yeah, I think that one's like in partnership with Raven Age or something, one of the publishers. Oh, gotcha. There's been a few come out of them. Metroidvania event, you say? Absolutely, because we're all, we're all waiting for Silk Song, bro. <laughs> That's a... Oh, shit. Come on. Uh, yeah, Whoa. it's... Uh, yeah. It's funny also how Metroidvanias now are like... It felt like it was originally like a very specific genre and now just more and more of like the metroidvania elements are being found in games of other genres you can have 3d metroidvanias you can have top-down metroidvanias um you know it's 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 not just like a game that looks like a metroid or a castlevania anymore mm -hmm. yeah. more of a philosophical metroidvania i guess it's a good time yeah the different flavors like your zelda vanias yeah. oh, i love a zelda vania yeah crypt custodian absolutely feels like that Oh, so good here. What is this? Are you a Shovel Knight enjoyer? Yes, um, I was a big Shovel Knight enjoyer. 
big fan. I, I just, I just couldn't, couldn't do it. I don't know what it was. It just yeah, never really just, stuck you, with me. If you didn't have the, uh, the kind of, oh, I fucking, I got, I got beast boyed by that man. Oh, you uh, did. If you didn't have the like love of those games in the first place, then like, yeah, I think it's, it's, it. its reverence was for like a thing you had no basis for. Pretty much, yeah. My like most of my reverence is like back end of the nineties. Yeah, then, yeah. 2010s. But even though it's like very pretty, I like the new functions that they do. Try mm-hmm. playing it, but there's just something about it. Didn't do me too much. Granted, uh, like we just mentioned, I did uh, love going back and playing Metroid. Yeah. So then, I mean, it's also interesting that Shovel Knight. While I still think is is really good, it also was one of those. I think it was um, so kind of such a standout at the beginning because there. It, we weren't kind of inundated with uh, those throwback games yeah, yeah, yeah. yet, whereas now in the decades since, which, you know, in part thanks to Shovel Knight, uh, we have, you know, you can't toss a rock without getting an 8-bit throwback um, somewhere on Steam. Ooh. I wonder what the 8-bit game of the year is going to be. Those See, are the kinds of awards that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the 8-bit wonder. Let's yeah. Go. As, as I over the pound 99, I have to know, will there ever be more Dokapon? We're working yes. on it. Everybody's gone right now. Yeah. It's, it's I, just me and Marty at the office. Our, our, our plan was we wanted to do it in February before the uh, before the trip, but um, we just couldn't find a, a, a weekend to, uh, to where we were all around. Scheduling four people, turns out, kind of tough. But we promise you, Dokapon will continue. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, bud, is that a game inspired by Mega Man X? It Most is. Most games are. It absolutely is. There you go. There you go. What was the standout feature for Mega Man as an IP, but also just mechanically? Uh, I think Mega Man, like the Mega Man NES game standout feature was the idea that you choose which level you want to go like you choose the order of levels you want so right. there's whatever seven or eight robot masters and you choose which one you want to go to and beating them gave you their powers and so each playthrough kind of could feel different depending on you know if you mainlined through the the sort of the most optimal route where every power was ended up being the thing that was strong against the next guy or you could try to go for the powers that kind of gave you more movement abilities and and kind of platform your way through uh, and then Mega Man X just built on that and and um, uh, just gave you more different like different abilities and allowed your character to, to do charge attacks and to slide and everything, which um, that's kind of how the Mega Man games grew was they were just like, okay, we'll have more ideas for powers and then more ideas for movement options. And, uh, All right. the character. Look at this. Thing. I got to fight a spider. Look at this little fella right here. Ooh, games are only as good as games are only as good as their mechanical spider bosses. Yeah, that's a great starter boss too. So many great mechanical spiders. Time to go grocery shopping. Anybody want anything? Some oh jalapeno god. kettle chips. Oh my god! Don't tell me it was a good time. I feel like I'm about mm-hmm. to die. The wall jump made a massive difference in how the game worked and how the bosses worked. What was the first game to have a wall jump? I wonder. Man, I, I mean... Oh, shit, I died. Uh, if I'm being honest, Mega Man X is one of the first I remember to be able to slide on a wall. Imagine. Like, I, wish I, was, like I, I wish I was... I was there. Uh, just like the whole, like, ooh, this uh, this horrible WASDA control scheme. I, mean, <laughs> I wonder if someone was like, ew, jumping off the wall, some kind of hooligan. <laughs> Double jumping. I can only one jump. <laughs> Rowdy boy. Right. Uh, is it Prince of Persia? Are you think an older one? The original? Did it I have don't know. I feel like I remember some uh, old NES games. I don't know. What old, old, old ones? Uh, it's a glitch. Mario on the NES, technically, yeah. Oh. Ninja Gaiden, Miyamoto no would never allow that in his game. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe Ninja Gaiden. Oh, yeah, the Batman. The Batman 89 NES game, which was real weird. It's supposed to be based off the first Batman movie, um, 
but it just didn't have anything to do like they just made a game completely separate from the batman movie and they're like yes you will fight firefly as your first boss a man who definitely does not appear in batman 89 can't afford it still no sign of dizzy this isn't good my princess is in another cast where's my dizzy so what now we go berserk we gotta go berserk so yeah. it seems like Berserk is just the first power. So this could have been called like Fireboy or whatever other powers are going to be getting as I go on. Yep. So I flame on. Yeah. Uh, I know nothing about this game. Do mobs have contact damage? Do mobs have contact damage? Um, yeah, like you touch them. Oh, like if you jump on an you. enemy, you will get hurt. Yeah. Uh, but if you dash into the enemy, they will get hurt. If that's what you meant. And so you want to dash. You don't want to jump on. Uh, did you play the Messenger? That old ninja game, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the one that's the Sea of Stars. Uh, it's in the same universe as Sea of Stars. Um, but yes, it plays very much like a, like a Ninja Gaiden kind of Metroidvania. Uh, I did. I actually wasn't, you know, how you said you weren't crazy about um, uh, Shovel Knight. I wasn't crazy about the Messenger, which definitely put me in a minority um like i i appreciated it but i just wasn't i just wasn't having the most fun with it uh earliest example of this dates back to sega master system console alex kid in shinobi world in 1990 and ninja gaiden gaiden in 1992 there you go that is first time with the wall jump you know what it's a good thing they were ninjas because that's the only way you should spend enough disbelief to go okay fine. that's first person to wall jump in real life was a was a ninja yeah. I think Berserk means bear suit. Yeah, it's bear no. suit. You lied to me. Da, 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 da. There's a lot of what there's is. a lot of story going on in this game. And oh. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just not I'm just not engaging with it. Which is fine. Uh, not not in the story mode mood. Yeah, I don't know. There's just certain games where I'm like I know you put in the story here, but like this isn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't come to to you know this restaurant to order your your off menu story. I came to get the thing. That, the thing I wanted here. That's just how I feel about like I don't know too many games in general. I don't know if that's yeah. a meat thing. I like right straight to the meat and potatoes. If you got a story, just play it over. You know, like in the Chinese buffet, they got the music blaring. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> it helps digest. Yeah. Yeah, there's just also um, like Yahtzee. When uh, when we were playing at Penny's Big Breakaway, one of his things he kept going back to was there's no context for what's happening, and I kept being like, I don't. Who cares what the context? Yeah, is? what? Like this isn't like like I don't need like motivations for why I'm running away from these evil penguins. Just be like, well, these penguins are trying to get you, so you better fucking run. Um, yeah. You know, if your like, game um, is story, like you know, if, if the story is. Uh, a big part of your game, then yes, that is very important that you handle that correctly. But uh, I don't know if it's this, then whatever. Hang on. Well, he is a narrative dog. specialist, though. He is. That's true. Can we pet this dog? Can't pet the dog. Oh, we pet the dog. Oh, you can. Who's a good boy? And we got orbs. All right, I take it back. This is great. Best game ever. Yeah, I'm very much uh, just you know, you give me the gameplay. If there's story afterwards, I'll maybe look at it. Yeah. This is a really big base. Like, oh, who's this man? What's your deal? Who's this? If your senses ever need a bit of oomph, you know where to find me. Gonna give me the berserk gun. I don't know how to. I don't know how to get through these spikes. I don't like the rules. Yes, actually. Yeah. Stitch a flimsy plot like stop Professor Neo Cortex, and I'll be just fine. Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll be. <clears throat> So I'll set up I need. Yeah, to me, like you, you, motivation. The only motivation I need is like, oh, okay, this thing's trying to kill me. So yes, I will um, fight against that. Y yeah. What's your motivation? It's like, well, we review games for yeah. a living. Remember Glover on the N sixty four? What about Chameleon Twist two? Who needs context for a good platformer? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, uh, well, I wouldn't say Glover's, do you want to collab on my channel? Uh, I wouldn't say Glover is a good platformer, but I do, I do have fun memories of it. Chameleon Twist was interesting, though. Had a lot of tongue, I think, tongue action. 
I think I think my not caring for for like context comes from like I, when I learned to play video games, I didn't know English. Oh so yeah. So it, it all just came down to like, is it is it fun to play? Because sure. I don't understand. Yeah. Don't understand what's happening. Finally. A, like I still don't know what happened in Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> didn't know English. I they just know these little dudes are like throwing <clears throat> jars or something. I don't know. They got stranded on Funkatron. That's what happened. Is that it? All right. Yeah, there's some there's some Funkatron. games that the only memories I have are of, of in my infancy, and I'm scared to go back sure. and see with my yeah, adult brain yeah. of like, what, no, was, I what was I doing? Uh. So the blue orbs are a currency, and this place cool. is a shop where you can get new uh, new items, upgrade your health, upgrade your energy. Lovely. I love it. None of us know what happened. No one knows what happened. Was there no story? In this or in? Yeah, uh, Toe Jam. Oh, in Toe Jam. I actually don't know. I don't. Like, the only story I remember was, like, I don't know, there's just a couple dudes that got stranded on a planet called Funkatron, which is a very cool name for a planet. Yeah. That, um, the original Rayman, I think, like, you just had to say the little, little oh, thingies. Oh, yeah. This is very French. Know, that's it. This is a very French game. Yeah. Um, okay, new hopes. Okay, so, yeah, they are, um, sort of, uh, level-based. Start mission two. I like that mission two is spelled a T W O. I don't know. I appreciate that. Instead of like a numerically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but now you got to translate that later. Du. And mission mission du. du. Mission. Yeah. Instead of just a two, we all know the mission two. Mission dose. Yeah. I'm not googling that one. You should. That's probably why I liked so many movie adaptations as a kid too, because like there the context is watch the movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're like, okay, I got it. Okay. Rats. Still, sometimes it'd have levels where it's like, all right, I don't remember this bit at all. Like in the Aladdin game. Like, yeah. Yes, we, we did go to a pirate cove. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's. A, I kind of appreciate that. They were like, hey, you need to uh, stick to the movie and then just do whatever you want to fill out the rest of the game because we did not. There's not enough movie for this game. There you go. Uh, one day we'll, we'll have a, a movie to game series or just what's the, what's the best movie to game adaptation I don't know um, the best movie to game adaptation. Star Wars Battlefront it's coming out oh god is it coming out soon enough yeah I think it comes out this week does it yeah maybe that's so. the next review I'm looking for there you go very fond memories of that game yeah see if they hold up in the year of our lord 2020 whatever it is 2024 no, <laughs> 2020 shrug mm -hmm. back before star wars went woke oh. <laughs> that tall characters back then it was only qui-gon <laughs> the least woke of them all qui-gon yeah. jinn march 12th nice that's nice. soon Rayman and one had issues because of the story TBH. It basically kind of implied there was more game than there was. I mean, there was, wasn't there? You had to like collect all the little dudes and yeah. then fight the, the guy. Like that was, I still can't beat that game. Rayman one was hard as shit, for being honest. Yeah. It was that also one of those platformers where like your character was too big. So like, yeah, it was just, it was just very difficult. Mm -hmm. They didn't care about you. No, which respect, respect to the French. As a as a kid, I collected all the dudes. There was still no extra boss. Oh no, it wasn't even an extra boss. It was just the boss. That's what was <laughs> painful about it. Fucking dogs. Well, now it has a whole series on Hollywood video games ripped to rooster teeth. Hope those creators can land on their feet like Second Wind did. Yeah, yeah that's uh, scary. That's fucking brutal. Yeah. Like, don't hand the keys to AT and T. No, it was dangerous. Yeah, someone whose uh, um, phone provider is AT&T. I, I won't trust them as far as I can throw them. Yeah. And I cannot throw them very far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In all my years, I've never seen a Mega Man game in which you have to walk to the left. Is that messing with your brain, or are you just that? Are, are you, no, I think you know, I've... I've 2D scrollery? I think I've played enough... Um, I've played enough games to where there is sort of because if you are if you're in a kind of Metroidvania mindset, you know you're doing a lot of backtracking and walking to the left, yeah. and walking to the right. <laughs> yeah, but in terms of Mega Man proper, it is always you are you are moving right or something has yeah. gone terribly wrong. 
So you just just pretend that you're backtracking exactly. through, the, through the level. All right. Are you a Spelunky one or two? Enjoy your frost. Not yet. That is a that is a big oh, one. Yeah, Spelunky's great. That is, that is a big one. It's also more not not so hardcore. Uh, I don't know what the term would be, but it's a, one of the old proper rogues. So it's definitely yeah. gonna beat my ass if I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's one of those games. Time. I'm not good at it, but I love uh, yeah. reading about it, and watching video essays about the game because like the shit people discover is just out of this world cool. Mm -hmm. Like the secrets in that game are like mind boggling. Wacky. Five Euro SVS Guru, back when the movie about a terrorist resistance self fighting against a fascist government was non political. Yeah, it was just the Dude, bad guy at the time. Just a couple of Harkonians Dude. cutting it up. Die hard. And... Listen, as long as the spice is flowing, that's all that matters. Well, it is written. What it is, is it? Written. What is it they're saying for that? Uh. Fear is the mind killer? No, he has a saying. It's essentially saying as it is written. Dune? Yeah. My Dune? Your Dune. You're talking yeah. about Paul Atreides? The hero of House I, I Atreides? I believe so, yeah. He's Javier Bardem. Always saying, he always says. What Alib? There you go, yeah, that apparently means like as it is written. <laughs> as written, there you yeah, go, Toad knows. I've, I've not seen that one yet. I like my movies wet. Right. Oh, yeah, that movie's world, extremely I'm dry, so if you like wet movies, generally. that, is, uh, that yeah. is not the movie for you. You think I can run this way? Nope, fuck that one up. Shouldn't have done that. Like, I remember in the first one where they had to, they have these like palm trees that they have to water themselves. I'm like, bruh. Yeah, and only the rich I'm folks, out. only the fucking yeah. uh, the stewards of the, of, the, of the planet can have those. Dear Lord, this is a very dry movie. Picked the wrong movie to eat, eat Ritz crackers. <laughs> The best of all movie snacks. Just bring a big old, big old tube of them. Yeah, big, big tube. I like it. Some pate. Yeah. Oh, I little, fucking little duck liver. I didn't realize that was a platform. No floor. Huh. No floor. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fact that spikes don't instantly kill you is nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, instant death spikes. I get it. If it's like a bottomless pit, I get it. That's on me. But if it's a spike, like, look, give me give me a little chance to come back from it. Yeah, but I don't like bottomless pits that actually have secrets in them. Oh, yeah. So it yeah. wasn't bottomless. It was yeah. Pit, but how would you know? <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta have some real um, some real kind of clever clever ways of guiding the player's uh, eyesight towards that thing yep. to be like, oh, this is a different bottomless pit than the other ones. Usually, it's just like, oh, I fell and didn't know. Yeah. Those leaps of faith, yeah. That's what I, like, I think it was a Blasphemous One. Oh my God, the insta kill spikes hurt my brain. Or no? Yeah, no, it was Man, an, an insta kill spike. Yeah, that's. Uh, I was gonna say that's not realistic, but that's pretty realistic. Like getting yeah, <laughs> like, uh, that's probably what would happen. Yeah. Uh, when are you giving us what we want? Frosty Cold Take on Dune Spice Wars. Is, is that the survival game? No, Spice Wars, I believe, was an RTS. The new one is oh, called no. Dune. Doing something. I don't think it's going to Can't make me. Nah, how did I just fall? Uh, Frost movie snacks are higher class than any regular meals. Yeah, yeah, I bring full full blown food in there. I eat a nice uh, Yaro in there. Oh, yes. <laughs> a little, little butter chicken. I like uh, I like going to the uh, counter at a theater and asking if they have any tzatziki sauce. Yep. Like, sir, yep. we only have popcorn here. Yes, but I need tzatziki for my Yaro. Some are starting. <laughs> What I mean, some, mean of, some of them are getting weird yeah, enough, yeah. Some, yeah, some are offering, like, some straight-up food in there. What are we doing? Have a nice ceviche in the dark. <laughs> a dark ceviche? <laughs> God, yeah. could you imagine? Oh, man, just shrimp all over me. Uh, would y'all recommend Blasphemous? So it's on sale on Steam. It's a weird one, that Blasphemous. If you can buy into the Catholicism of it all, of pain is good, you'll have a great time. I preferred the second one. I feel it's more uh, in the spirit of Metroidvanias, but the first one definitely had better theming. Gotcha. So, uh, that's a, that's an odd one. To play the second one. Sorry. Uh, it's a 4X game? God dang it. Why is it always these sci-fi games? Too many X's. Like Too many X's. Get your X's out of here. Yeah, go away. Listen, I don't want... 
I like a game with one X is good. Like a Mega Man X, that's cool. Sure. Two X's, get out of here. Three X's, yeah. I'm back for. Because that probably means there's pornos in it. So I'm absolutely oh, back no. for a three X game. Then when you get to four X, I'm like, what are we doing? What what, how did I? How have I forgotten how to fucking wall jump? What has happened? I don't, I don't work for you. It how about a lot of Vin guys? Diesel's Triple X? Uh, that See, that was that was false advertising. You thought you were getting pornos, and then you didn't. Yeah, but then you got Triple X Two. I think it was Ice Cube. Yeah, that's right. Or no, Exhibit. Exhibit. Oh yeah. man, what a time. Okay, if, I, if this doesn't work, I'm just we're so, just quitting. The, oh God, how have I forgotten how to wall jump? Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Everything's fine. Sounds like a good next game after I finish Lords of the Fallen then. It's not bad. I mean, it's got a reputation for a reason. There's just so many of those. Uh, like that and The Last Faith and the, the Salt and Sacrifice and like, I don't know. There's just so many sauce. Oh, they don't like you. Ooh. Oh man, that was an instant death. Those spikes, those weren't instant death spikes. However, they ended up slowly becoming instant death spikes. Yeah, so uh, I think I'd prefer an instant death there instead of just like, I can't recover. <laughs> uh, so many of what games? Oh, those Sanctuary. sort of, uh, those, those like dark gothic 2D souls like -y action games. Like they all just sure. like mm. blend together when I see them. Yeah, yeah, I'd gone through Blasphemous 2, 1, and then it was like The Last Faith or something, and I was genuinely just feeling kind of depressed. Yeah, and you're like, it's, I need something else right now. Like, a, It's just it's just too dark for all the time. Everyone's sad. I go, I just, I'm just going to play bright colorful games. Yeah. Too many. Too many Soulsies. Too many. I'm trying to hurt you. <laughs> you did a good job. Did it. We did it. What's your temperature on ZX games? ZX games? Like the, the Z bike tournament? Like the X games? Yeah. I'm a big fan of. Uh, what, are, what, are, what is ZX? Yeah, those, is that Spectrum? Like Spectrum ZX? Like an old ass. I don't know. An old ass British console? If that's what I'm thinking <laughs> of, then I don't think I just have an opinion on them. No. no. Uh, play some Disco Elysium to cheer you up. That is a very funny game, and it shouldn't be. There you go. It's funny, funny that it should be. Turn on uh, Mega Man ZX. Oh, I've never played Mega Man ZX. I don't know which ones those. I played Mega Man 1 through... I played all the regular Mega Man games, and then I played X 1 through um, 3, and then I've played uh, Legends 1 and 2. And that's all. There you go. Oh my God. I can't Casey wait for it tells our, is our, is our true Mega Man head here. That second one. Yeah. And he got yelled at. So he got yelled at for not, yeah, for not liking the battle that we're kids. Yeah. It just happens, you know? Like, um, I was the Dead Cells guy, the Blasphemous dude, and people going, he's not a real fan here. Oh, I and, absolutely. I was, uh, I, that, that's happened to me on, on a lot of games I've reviewed, where it's like, yes, you are our champion of, of, uh, Final Fantasy. And then I reviewed Final Fantasy 13 3 and was like, this game is kind of jank. And people are like, how dare you? We are going to send you death threats because of this. You were our champion. You you weren't meant to do this. I'm like, what are you? Y'all y'all need to. Don't apologize to me. Really? They were like, yeah, I, yeah. They were like, I'm sorry, I got mad. I bought the game. It was pretty trash. <laughs> Man, it's just, it's so uh, wild yeah. that people spend their time getting angry <laughs> at some fucking stranger's opinion on a little toy. Like, what are we doing? I, yeah, I don't mind this sort of like, uh, like, oh, that was, you know, I, that felt mean. But whenever they're like, no. -uh, uh, have you played it? No. no. <laughs> okay. It's, it's just like embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. It's like this is embarrassing for both of us. It's embarrassing sure. that we're having this conversation. Oh, that's why I'm not talking to these people. I, I just just walk on, just walk on. I did watch. Yeah, like that. That was a weird week. Yes. Uh, like Lords of the Fallen, The Last Faith, Blasphemous, and I was watching two different people streaming Dark Souls 2. It was a very dark time. Yeah, what was going on there? I don't know. It was, uh, and then like rough. two weeks later, everyone lost their jobs? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just bleak. That's what, that's what caused it. That's what <laughs> we should have played more colorful platformers. That was our problem. Should have, honestly. Like uh, Slime Rancher 2, more of that. Could you imagine? Everything would have been different Wait. if we just would have Slime Ranched. I'm thinking so. 
Because you, you need you need the juxtaposition. You're, yeah, you're really dark. absolutely can't be can't be dark all the time. I don't know how uh, was it Iron Pineapple does it. Just always yeah, putting yeah. something like, like bro. I'd rather I'd rather be one of those cozy tubers, you know. Like, yeah, hey, you kind of another get that game cozy tube going on that lowers my blood pressure. A meditative experience, yes. Nah, I wish I I chase highs. That's just me. That's living the dream right there. Yeah, except well, you never have a consistent high constantly. Sure, yeah. And you either go through like mid game, mid game. Okay, fine. Maybe I don't like games. Maybe I just hate games. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe and then one more. They're bad. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dave the Diver helped. Oh, nice. yeah. Slow break. That was in the summer, though. So that was a couple. Was it? Yeah. Time, it was early time access. Is, it's time been early access worse. for a while. Yeah. Oh. What did I uh, hit a wrong button and then I, all of a sudden I went into beast mode? Mm hmm. What would the opposite of Dark Souls be? Light bodies? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Light bodies? Light bodies. Um, a better question is how does Warhammer handle being dark all the time? Because it's it's got humor, you know, to like balance it out. Yeah. It's ironic. Another spider. Oh. Yeah, what do we do? Why, why are we fighting spiders two levels in a row? It's not a, not a spider. Well, this it's is a an acid spider of some sorts, or like a green oh. flame spider. Oh. God dang. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I do like the ones that are sort of like, they feel they feel cozy, cartoony, but they can be kind of dark. Yeah. Like the Cult of the Lamb, Dredge, all of them. Oh, yeah. Dredge. Yeah, Dredge, absolutely. A little, like, little, little PG spook, sure. Yeah, exactly. Kids love to, to have to face death in the face. Yeah. Uh, There's a Coraline for everybody. Exactly. Man, Coraline's great. Oh, good. Uh, oh, there we go. Ooh. Yeah. Huh. Maybe Dragon's Dogma 2 can offer you a lighthearted fantasy adventure. Oh, baby. Oh, oh my God. I'm, Man, try those, I'm trying to stay those, away uh, from all of it. I keep seeing clips, though, and I'm like, this can't be. Yeah, and those previews that came out were real positive. God. Oh, it looks, it looks good. I'm going blind. I hope it doesn't affect anything. <laughs> so you haven't played the original one, and you're not going to? No. No, I was I was going for it because that that's the one I played with my friend for a few hours in that sort of like I die it's your turn. Sure, sure. For the controller kind of way, but that was that was so long ago. We did, and we only played like just a few hours. Yeah. Somebody say Dragon's Dogma too. Yo, you're ready. You're ready. Dragon's Everybody's Dogma. Ready. Cap Capcom stock going up. Oh my God! Every death taken away from my score. A humbling moment. Down to an A. Imagine. Could have been an S. The thaumaturge looks bleak as hell, but it has my interest. I mean, I, I hope it's. I'm hoping it's going for a sort of Doctor House vibe. <laughs> very, very cynical, nihilist, loser kind of character, but there's humor in it. There you go. Let's go Elysium style. Uh oh, main base is under attack. Oh. Usually, it's a little bit later in the game that your main base gets under attack. Or right at the start. Yeah. The timing. Heard the console performance isn't good for DD2. PC performance doesn't seem that good either. Yeah, but my my PC is special. I also have a pretty low it's bar. Different. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, I'm like, is it, they're like 30 frames. I'm like, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, matter. no. 30, only 30. I can't believe it. Yeah. I'm gonna do a newly released on that. If you can find me, brother, sure. You'll never see me again until I'm done with that game. I'm either in Dragon's Dogma or I'm playing Bellatro. The big two. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think they'll. Because folks will still be gone next week. 
and then the GDC crew will be gone the week after. But every streaming should return to normal by the end of the month. There you go. A lot of games coming through. I heard the performance is uncapped, moves between 20 and 40. I can do with that. I watch movies at 24. I don't know. See, I definitely try to stay away from sort of performance uh, reviews because I, I feel like I'm the kind of guy that doesn't notice it until I you tell me. Well, I just don't care. Like people, and even, like, even then, Final Fantasy is unplayable. I'm like Jesus. Like I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> like if I'm if a if I'm watching a movie on DVD, five seconds into the movie, I'm not thinking about this isn't Blu-ray. Like it's just if the experience is good, like that stuff doesn't matter to me. And I get that's an eye of the beholder thing. That's totally a person-to-person, a person-by-person -person, uh, person -person basis. But, yeah, I never, um, I, I, unless something is so garishly broken, I uh, never even factor that shit into my criticisms. Yeah, I said, look, is it is it a slideshow? Did yeah. you blue screen me? Well, and there's like, <laughs> you know, there's folks like Digital Foundry who like that is their bread and butter. And they understand that way more than I do. And yeah, yeah, they too. cater to an audience that cares about it way more than I do. So, yeah. like, I don't know. Like, I think as long as, like, you're kind of open in your review of being like, listen, this is not a thing that, that bothers me whatsoever. Um, there are plenty of reviews that will focus on that if it is a thing that's really important to you. Yeah, I feel like it's very not my place kind yeah. of thing. But if I do mention it, then you know you messed up. Then something, if, something if, went wrong. Yeah, if the, if the two who, like, really don't care about performance that much yeah. go, all right, performance was whack. We got, we got some problems there. How are you doing, sir? Oh. Good old Assassin's Creed 2 at 600p at 15 FIPS. Exactly. What a time to be alive. What an absolute time to be alive. A little, little assassin. You only need like 10 frames to be an assassin. Yeah, what is that? I'm, I'm sure John Wilkes Booth, he was probably moving at like five frames per second. Five frames when he snuck up on Lincoln? Yeah. I imagine. Darn a musical? Yeah. The one thing, what is it? Yeah, the one thing that makes me sad about Digital Foundry is I bet all that stuff that they do is amazing to watch, but I, I bet YouTube like compresses the video down. And yeah. Like, I don't know what you're saying. To yeah. Me. I wish yeah. I knew. Like like with Twitter, you can, it just butchers your rate. So I'm not sure. Or people what, watching a know. Digital Foundry uh, review on their phones. I'm like, well, what are you like on their phone on Wi-Fi? You're like, oh well, none of this is like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to. It. Did John Wilkes Booth kill Taft? No. Imagine that Taft didn't get no. assassinated. No. Fun fact. I think, I think heart disease killed Taft. The number one assassin of them all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why so many people obsess over performance when Steam's hardware survey shows most users get pretty low specs. I think there's an audience. It is, it is worth mentioning um, if it is rough. And then if they want to obsess about it, they can talk about it. But yeah. I kind of not. Especially because now we're in the age of like, uh, well, they can just patch it. They yeah. can just fix it. Or tech's going to get better. I also don't think it's... I, I, th I think the people who uh, talk about it not like a vocal minority in a in like a bad sense like we shouldn't have to pay attention to them because it's a vocal minority but more so um it's the same people who kind of like really harp on any specific aspect of a game and and ultimately yeah. that's not i think majority of people don't give a shit about it honestly and you just don't hear from them because when someone's satisfied you, oh shit when someone's satisfied you don't hear from them yeah like if you cool. watch something you like it you're just like oh it's pretty good yeah, like last game the, whose performance bugged me was Skull and Bones. There was so many loading screens, like three in a row. Oh yeah, that's to me. That's definitely something. Um, yeah. Like uh, Bloodborne at launch was absolutely a game with those loading screens. Out. I'm like, this is like literally r hurting my enjoyment of the game because of how mm -hmm. often it's loading. Also because of how bad I am at the game and how often I am dying. Yeah, you, you don't want the screen to go black and then I see my reflection. Just... Ugh, especially if you're playing on like a handheld and you're just like, yeah, like wow. you can see three chins. <laughs> oh god. Is that me? Who's three that? chins, one, one for each health bar. <laughs> Who's that monster? Uh, mm -hmm. 
I only care about FPS and my FPS. Is exactly. Yeah. I'll care about them in my shooters. There you go. That's why I will play everything on low graphics for as many frames <laughs> as possible. I'm so down. Ow. But I'll watch some of those. I like watching those. Like, uh, the new Spider Man uh, on every. What was it? Oh, like the comparisons and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I'm fascinated by it. But it's the, the same thing where I said, like, I'll, there's games I don't like to where I still want to, like, watch video essays on. And that's absolutely how I feel about that stuff. Like, I don't care about the stuff, yeah. but a well made video is a well made video. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm more likely to leave a bad review than a good review. Most people are. Yeah. Just, you know, you're satisfied. What, why? What are you going to do? Yeah, I don't know. Because mostly, again, like, most of the things you you experience, you're just like well, that's pretty good. Like yeah. I don't know, like and like that's not is that very helpful of of a critique? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's kind of one of the issues with live service is because they operate on feedback, but the only people giving feedback are the people that aren't happy. Yeah, so yeah. So you're always essentially always chasing the the people who are unhappy. Yeah. Anyone hear about the Stalker Trilogy releasing on Xbox Series S and X? I, I believe it released on. I don't. I actually don't know if it was third uh, PlayStation as well. But yeah, Shadow Drop yesterday. Like, uh, not like a big old remaster, but like a slight remaster of the first three Stalker games. There you go. PC and console, I believe. I never uh -huh. fucked with the, the Stalker games. I oh, watched the spooky. Stalker movie. No, just like it was a little, a little crunchy for my shooting taste. <laughs> like a little survivally, a little too like. That's I've never gotten to like the Metro games either. It's a little like when I, I like my shooters feeling like a Hollywood blockbuster, not like a there fucking Revenant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have to live inside of a bear. I don't know. Yeah, I was playing Winter Survival yesterday. I was like, yeah, I am yeah. Liam Neeson. But and that's I like, too that's ran into thing, the right? nest of wolves. See, it was there embarrassing. you go. Yeah. I made fun of him. I was like, oh god, it's actually a lot easier than you think. <laughs> yeah. Talking about unhappy gamers, Helldivers 2 has a new patch and it's not gone down well. Another, another new patch? Or, because I talked about a patch like two days ago. I don't know if they put out another, a new another. one. All the yeah. others. Y'all ever read the books of what? Stalker? No. Uh, I've not read the Stalker books, no. Seen, I don't think I've ever seen movie. something and then read the books. It's usually the other way, the other except way, for yeah. um, Witcher. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Those are, those are fun books. I like how he writes in the negative. In a very, like, Geralt, you can imagine Geralt doing anything but this thing I'm telling you right now. He did not do this, absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's so strange. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a language, like a translation sure. thing. But uh, yeah, he writes in the negative. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, patch is fine. People just annoy they have to change play styles. If there's one thing I learned from QAing for multiplayer games is that like people want to play what they want to play. And I, I keep hearing players will optimize the fun out of games, yeah. but it's more so they just, they just kind of want to play what they want to play. Yeah. And so it, the responsibility isn't so much balance as it is give each person the thing that you know is fun to them, especially in PVE. I, I still find that odd. Author of The Witcher is a hell of a writer. Seems a bit of a dick though. Oh. I see. Maybe it's maybe it's a cultural thing. <laughs> like, uh, are we talking to that interview where? Someone said, how do you feel about the games? He's like, I ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> That's just honest. You yeah. ain't got time for that shit. How about the Metro novels? How about the Mario novels? Huh? Yeah, why don't we ever talk about the Mario novels? Uh-oh. Uh Boss Fireboy. There you go. What's up, Blue Tricky? Not just a part of Second Wind, brother. We're co-founders here. We are. Come on. Co-funders. Co-funders. Another spider? No, we're fine. Man. Fireman. Oh. Oh, there it is. Morning in Karn. Little fire tornado fella. Dark energy level's high. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. It's big naughty. I'm glad there's those very clear markings where they're going to fall. Yeah, yeah. That's very kind of him. Oh, 
Ooh. Uh oh, he's going berserk. Oh no! Oh no! I turned my I took my costume off. It's a oh, terrible no. time. Wait, it's a terrible time to no longer be berserk. <laughs> Got from berserk I have no to mouth, mild. But I must berserk. <laughs> Picking up the littles. Yeah, dry save. Take care, Todd. No speed. Take care, Todd. No. Todd Juniors. Mm -hmm. Ah, he said he feels extinguished. If I was a fireman, ah. that's how I'd feel after I died. <laughs> extinguished. Oh, and he ran off. Left the orbs. Oh, that's good. I got my orbs. SVS. Fire boy. With the five euro, I wonder how Heinlein Heinlein would have reacted to Verhoeven's version. I don't of know Dune. What, what yeah, this is. Oh, the author Dune. of Dune. Uh, not Dune. Excuse me, Starship Troopers. Starship. Okay. He would have been a big Helldivers two fan though. I think it's... Yeah, he would have loved it. Oh, He'd been the very upset about the current patch. Oh, she collected he would have there. hated yeah. his. I feel like most authors hate the uh, movie adaptations of their books, and they most of them just keep quiet because they get a nice big paycheck. Yeah. Except for Stephen King. I was about to say, when you have enough to... money that you can just talk shit on it, then you don't you stop caring. Yeah, you don't need that no more. Oh, he was a fascist? Oh, no. Yeah, the is book it, didn't have it... any of the sort of the tongue-in-cheek satire and commentary. Oh, he just straight up just yeah. went for it. It's a subtle TB damned. <laughs> All right, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Douglas Adams, Starship Titanic. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the Cerveza Cristal ad. <laughs> Cerveza Cristal. Oh, yeah. The, uh... You've been seeing those. Yeah, yeah. The, the... What was it? Chilean? Uh... Uh, like Star Argentina, Wars Argentina, Chile, Chile. Yeah. something, yeah. Yeah, how they <laughs> inserted the ads into the film. Yeah, so characters like, while you're watching a movie on TV would like hand each other land. that brand of beer. I love it. That's in the it was, it was Han Solo talking to Ben Kenobi. And I he's it was like, great. Go to hand him the lightsaber yeah. or something, and it's just saying, <laughs> 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 I think it's that was great. Good. <laughs> just getting jump scared by beer. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody talks about Starship Troopers. Nobody talks about Stranger in a Strange Land. And for good reason, the book is terrible. Oh, there you go. Well, that's not good. And that'll start you. Remember, B for bad? Yeah. That's probably why it didn't do well. <laughs> My favorite Latino beer is uh, Caguama. I never see online ads for it, but I would love them. They weren't online ads. It was old movies. <laughs> Yeah, they were they were just like you were watching a movie on TV and suddenly uh, there was a little there was a little uh, ad in the middle of your Star Wars in the middle of your Batman. Yeah, very like Truman show esque yeah. kind of way. Yeah, it's just now getting spread. Like, we now get to see what was happening yeah. at the uh, other end of the world. Are you ready to uh, wait a minute, this isn't a Marty and Frost read along of Berserk manga. One day. One day. Next time. I probably they finish it. Movie. Yeah, I know Jay's like a, huge, a big fan of the Berserk manga. Like he has like the so. entire uh, entire like hardbound collection. There you go, Jay and, and Miyazaki. They both love Berserk. There you go. He's got the the gut sword too, doesn't the Buster Sword? Yeah. Both oh, that sword's sword. absolutely inspired by uh, well, Guts' okay. sword as well. Oh, we got a nice snow level. Great. Ooh. You're just the avatar of the fire berserk. Yeah, we right. Got, we got the ice berserk. I feel like it's good that we killed the fire guy before we went to the ice guy because I feel like the ice guy is yeah. going to be weak to the fire guy. And it's like a Pokemon fire starter because yeah. you're always going to fight grass types. Okay, so my movement ability as a fireman is a little bit of a like a little tornado. Mm -hmm. A little, little, little tornado tanuki. Yeah. Let you, let you hover. Doesn't feel as useful as my little Berserk Boy, so I'm sticking with Berserk Boy. 
There you go. Products in American movies are more subtle, but how can we call it subtle when the Power Rangers are defending a Dunkin' Donuts? Hmm. That's, just, repulsive. that's just uh, the world runs on donkeys. I appreciate my heroes doing that. Or was it? If they're fighting, any, yeah, if they're fighting Massachusetts, it's almost yeah. unavoidable. I think was it Thor or Man of Steel had a fight in an IHOP. One of them, which honestly is like a great place for a fight. In my don't opinion. don't recall. Oh, okay. So this, oh, we're just pepper uh, grinding now. Oh, oh my God! The end of the month. It's gonna be a yeah, good month. Yeah, I'm Dragon's excited for Dogma, I'm excited for that. Grinder. A little peppercorn action. Oh, absolutely pepper grinding right now. Let's go. A little dirt dolphin action. Yeah. Dirt dolphin. I don't know if this is real, but when I was working at Waffle House, the uh, district manager kept bragging about the prestige of Waffle House. And they said, you know how in movies they'll show like people are fighting in front of a McDonald's or something like that? Yeah. McDonald's pays them. If you ever see a movie that features a Waffle House, they paid Waffle House. Incredible. I'm like, I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know. You might I be lying to us, but I like it anyways. I, yeah, I can't say no. Oh, this is absolutely pepper grinding right now. <laughs> just TV's pepper oh, grinder. Oh, because of the walls and everything. Like yeah, that. so I was just pepper grinding through through some dirt. It's huge. Uh, 7-Eleven was blown up in the first Thor movie. They should do that more often. I wonder if the, um, what was it, the shawarma guys? Oh yeah, and from the, the, end of the Avengers. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, that wasn't supposed to be a line. That was just what uh, they said Robert Downey. Yeah. Oh, man. It's like, and then they like uh, right at the twenty fifth hour, they added that last uh, little credit stinger. I think they said after even the premiere, where they're all like, yeah, beat up to high hell eating their shawarmas. Yeah. And Chris Evans had a he had his fist on his chin because See he had to grow his beard out yeah. for yeah. Snowpiercer. Yeah. <laughs> what a good time. Uh, what do you think about product placement in movies? Uh, I mean, I think it just depends on how you do it. Wayne's World, best product placement. Oh, hilarious, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if it's like a movie where it makes sense, I don't know, if like a character's using like a fucking MacBook or something, then whatever, that's like, yeah. that doesn't bother me. Um, there are funny rules I've read, like, uh, 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 for iPhones, villains can't use iPhones in movies. Um, oh, that's funny. And there was something, I think it was in, like, Knives Out, speaking of Chris Evans, like, Knives Out's always this, like, it's kind of like a whodunit of, like, who's guilty. Yeah. And all the characters have iPhones except for Chris Evans. That's funny. And so you might be like, oh, is this, is this the evil? I, honestly, just like real life, if someone's an, if you have an Android user in your life, they might be a murderer. They're, they're not necessarily evil, but. Yeah. But just, I, like I, I would just say, keep, their an, systems. Keep, an, keep an eye out on them. Someone's got a Microsoft, a Windows <laughs> phone. Absolutely. Yeah. Just call the police. It's funny. It's funny on uh, on Apple TV because everything is just uh, oh just yeah products all yeah, over the place. Yeah, yeah. Ted Lasso, Severance, everything. It's yeah. all Apple. And like honestly, why not? Yeah. How's the game so far? I'm Delicious it. berserk. I'm enjoying it. Uh, one thing I've heard is that the game is apparently relatively short, which um, <laughs> to me is not a bad thing, but. Um, or someone who wants big big beefsters this might not be a beefster Find a I jar definitely... a character goes up to the bar oh yeah I could definitely um, I could definitely notice that this is going to be one of those games to where like a few hours in you are going to play so much different than you were originally just like this hmm. game feels like it has a really great sense of mastery to it Look at that. You're a drill. I'm drilling. Drilling through it all. If I, was, if I was one of Goku's pals, I'd be drilling. Hey. Oh, look at these guys. Just a couple of drill dogs running after. Oh, God, the drill dog chasing me. Hey, they didn't have it. Wasn't having it. No. I think a lot of companies are going to lean into product integration now. I mean, as they should. Harold and Kumar yeah. did wonders for White Castle. It's interesting that you don't see more of it in games. Like, we, you know, we have like billboards and racing games and shit like that. Jake from State Farm in uh, yeah. the NBA, NBA 2K games. Uh, I, yeah, I think there's a just, lot of product placement. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. That's just product placement for Japan. Yeah, and it kind of just like, I don't know, adds to the world building. So I get it. Fuck out of here. Uh, no way. We're leaving or running. We're absolutely running. We don't want to be here. I don't mind product placement, but anytime a logo is nicely pointed at the camera, it just rips me out of a movie. Uh, 
funny. Donald Glover does that in Atlanta. It's a lot of like, oh, there's your album. And like, oh, oh there's yeah. Your, yeah. So it's a lot of his own stuff all over the place. Hey, um, if I'm making a thing. I'm going to advertise my shit. Yeah, why not? I appreciate it. Is that product placement? Whenever it's like, did you see that license plate? It's actually, you know, a code that means a lot to the. It was yeah, his first that, car. That feels know? like uh, Easter like eggs, right? Yeah. yeah. The UK was called Harold and Kumar get the munchies because we don't have White Castle. Live. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Harold and Kumar get the munchies. I mean, it's also an accurate title. That is what that the film's is what about. Oh, yeah, remember at the end of World War Z when Brad Pitt opened a cold can of Pepsi during the climax? I did do. Man likes Pepsi. What are you gonna? What are you gonna do? What, what are you gonna? I mean, would you not? I can't even blame him for that. Where I go, you know what? After all that, yeah, I'd yeah. want a nice cold soda too. And it's free. Yeah, so exactly. it tastes better. <laughs> oh my God, it passed away. Marty McFly always asking for a Coke Zero. Was he? No. Yeah. Oh. Or was it Pepsi free? Was it, did Coke Zero even exist then? I don't know, but it's because he went back in time and he's like, "Well, you, it's not free. You're gonna pay for it." Oh, gotcha. That's pretty funny. Yeah, he, he wanted, he wanted like no cal. Pepsi free. Thank you. Yeah. Ring, ring. What about Final Fantasy? Don't they have like cup noodle? Oh yeah, yeah Final Fantasy 15 was uh, product placemented of the wazoo. Yeah, the cup noodle one was was very funny. Shit. Oh yeah, yeah. He asked for a tab, but you haven't ordered anything. You know, all oh, Pepsi free. Yeah. That's good. Wow. <laughs> That's, honestly, that's all I ask for. Uh, someone said, or, as long as it feels organic, yeah, that's yeah. all I ask for. Makes I don't mind a little propaganda. A little yeah. propaganda makes the world go around. But as long as it's in a moment where, you know, I'm, I'm down. Shit. Like, oh no, I'm stuck, step bro. Now's a good time for a coke. I'm stuck, step bro. <laughs> Mr. Peanut. Mm -mm. I like that, man. Appreciate him. Will Smith tying his Nike shoes in iRobot. Now those are Converse's vintage. Or I think he called them retro then. Or I'm like, no, oh. <laughs> I'm wearing these now. <laughs> Come on, Death Stranding had Monster Energy. Yeah, you know, that was just blatant too. Yeah. In Kojima, we trust. Just Snickers wrappers at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. That's organic. It's just spawn con shit I fell. Mm -hmm. I think too many advertisers are afraid to look like you know, like the butt end of a joke though. Yeah, yeah, like oh our product has to be portrayed in a positive light. Yeah. Oh. It can fun. only be punched so many times. Yeah. Just like the rock. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that fucking ego out of here. What are we doing? Uh, with the Verizon ads and the Duracell batteries and Alan Wake integrated well, I haven't played those I mean, yet. We're very bad. That's a very battery-centric game, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, because the games are full of product placements for everything. It's, it's, it's yeah. Japan, it's their own Sega games. Everything's yeah. on there. I played Sega Base Bass Fishing, and it was great. Super best. Yeah, if the game takes place in the real world, it would almost be weird not to notice products mm -hmm. because of how uh, just pervasive they are in our normal life. I was just watching uh, the oh. the latest Blade Runner the other night, and that has uh, had their own like they had their own small batch uh, Johnny Walker Black Label made for it. So at one point, when he meets Harrison Ford, they pours him a drink. Yeah. And I remember that being like a thing. I think you could buy at the stores and everything. Love it. Let's just beat this guy. Oh no. This is, this, is, this is the strongest snake I've ever met. 
but like in bars you can describe the whole product when you order a glass i don't know about you guys maybe it's very unlucky for me whenever i ask the bartender about drinks it sounds like they're chilling yeah <laughs> Instead of just like, oh, it's good. It's like, no, it's got earthy tones. No, but it's sour just notes. Up a bunch of of it, yeah, yeah. Your fucking yeah. earthy tones. Get your earthy tones out of here. It's like, I spilled it on the floor, swept it, put it back in. <laughs> this is bar mat juice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Zombie Land and Twinkies. Oh, this is huge. I like, I don't know why. Just, I like that. They're just obsessed with the product. Yeah. Sure. And you can understand that, like, if someone was obsessed with something and then everything went away, that, like, that would be their goal, is to find that one thing. Mm -hmm. Earthy tones? I just want a beer, man. I mean, it's all earthy. It comes from hops. That's the, that's the most earthy tone of them all. It is. I eat this water bread. Mm. Water bread. Uh, Lampy with a two pound. Can't believe you're playing not Mega Man without KC. You know what? When KC goes to DC, the world's got to move on without him. Yeah. That Militia Man and Taco Bell. That had Taco Bell in that. Yeah, Taco Bell was a huge part of Demolition Man. Oh. They even uh, for one of its anniversaries recently, they like because it was like a futuristic looking Taco Bell. They um, shit. They uh, they like rebuilt the uh, futuristic Taco Bell as like a Comic Con like uh, what the activation thing that folks would go to. Oh, I, I just remember. I just remember his, his rat burger that he exactly. had a good time with. His rat, rat burger and a beer. Oh. That's some good acting right there. He made you he made you think it. Believe it. He's eating a rat burger. Red Bull not jumping on PUBG. Hey, what if we've moved on? <laughs> we've gone. Oh, restaurants are Taco Bell. No. In Europe, they replaced Taco Bell with pizza. That's weird. They're owned by the same place. Do they just not have? Is that just one of those? What do you mean, replace? Like. Yeah. Weird. Every Taco. Every Pizza Hut. Or every Taco Bell turned into a Pizza Hut? Should just turn into a combination of the two. Yeah, the Taco Hut. Gotta love a Taco Hut. KF Taco. KF Taco. Taco Bell is Skynet. This is what it is. I was talking about In that. I don't, have any, the... I don't have any love for Taco Bell. Um, no, me neither. Yeah. I'm not like anti Taco Bell, but uh, I don't know. Like once you've once you've lived in cities with like actual taquerias that are yeah. as cheap, if not cheaper than Taco. Like Taco Bell has also gotten fucking expensive. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I guess all fast you, food if, has, but yeah, if you like, it's cheaper than the rest. But if you if you think of like how cheap tortillas and beans are yeah it's, uh, yeah uh, it's crazy i am an opportunist uh usually i I'll go there after bad publicity because that's when they're on their best behavior ah uh, i like that uh, taco bell was get yeah, they uh what do you call it taco bell got sued for not putting enough in their i remember that, yeah. or whatever and then they so were going like for those. overcompensating yeah. the next month <laughs> yeah you, you got to get them after they slipped because yeah. that's when the food's good yeah once uh, Chipotle has a big salmonella scare, you gotta go. You'll get the best burrito of your life. Yeah, the safest, best burrito. Yeah, exactly. Uh, welcome, uh, Titus. Thank you, Titus, for having a, having a nice laugh during the stream. Mm. Does that go for Papa John's, too? At, right after the scandal, whenever they try to... Like recover. That's just the best time to go. They usually <laughs> offer discounts whenever uh, Papa John says something racist. Like <laughs> fifty percent off. So let me like, tell you, a lot of discounts going on there. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird march. Chipotle always doing freebies after the controversy. Yeah, and after public outcry too. Like after uh, McDonald's, this whole like, oh, the dollar menu is so expensive yeah. now. Well, if you got their app, they gave you a bunch of free stuff. Yeah. Just so they could sell all of your uh, information, to the terrorists. Yeah, probably yeah. the terrorists. I don't, I don't. I don't like apps. I don't like fast food apps. They're trying to get me. I'm not going to let them. I'm also a little more wary now of, of cheap meat, simply because I forgot where it was. The FDA approved like lab meat, and I don't mind it. I am fully down to try it. Just consenting and after other people go first for a while. Yeah. So, 
you, I, you want to see like how, how are people going to be impacted? Like, are people going to like? I don't, I don't buy first generation of anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, remember when those iPhones were blowing up? Sure. <laughs> like, you, that would never be me. I yeah. never get first generation of anything. Yeah. I don't want to be the, the Tesla or the lab yeah. rat. Absolutely not. So whenever I see now, like Wendy's is like, if you if you use the mobile app, you get a dollar off a day's hot and juicy. Yeah. Like, that is that is monkey meat. That yeah. is that is not. That right. is monkey meat. Dave Thomas rolling in his grave. Mm, no, not doing it. Yeah, my guys want like you got to let it marinate in the societal stew. Completely. Oh, yeah. Like well, y'all, y'all go first. I'm, yeah. I'm I'll, be, I'll be right behind you. Yeah. Uh, SVS with the five euro. Have you heard that Warner Brothers has killed Rooster Teeth? Death battle likely to effing corpos. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was a, it was an unfortunate trade off because I believe Rooster Teeth sold to I forgot who it were a uh, subsidiary of. AT&T because they wanted you know to uh, expand their projects but like that kind of is the trade-off yeah you're you're at the mercy of somebody else's pocket mm -hmm. so unfortunate mm -hmm. Wendy's chili is made out of day-old burgers I was amazed day-old is all right for something like the best uh, shrimp fried rice yeah Always use day -old yeah you gotta rice. let it marinate for a day uh, coleslaw oh only gets better the longer it stays in your oh fridge. absolutely well, at a certain point, it probably stops getting better. <laughs> yeah, I think within there's, reason, there's it keeps getting better. Within reason, yeah. It's like, oh, this has been in there for five years now. <laughs> it's like a fine wine. <laughs> exactly. Cool it has whiskey. fermented. Yeah. <laughs> No health issues, just sent. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Paul with the two dollars. Hey Marty, how is your week pretending to be Calandra? Uh, it is. Uh, it's been awful. This is not a, li a life I want to leave. I mean, my. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't been doing anything different than I've been doing all just my normal, just my normal job. I'm streaming, not even slightly more. I've only done one, two, three. Yeah, four you're, streams. you're one of the. Yeah, you're yeah. one of like the heavier streamers just yeah. in general. Yeah. So. He's got the stamina, he's fine. I got it, I'm fine. You're supposed to always throw the chili away at the end of the night? No. Just no. Just make more chili, that thousand year old soup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gotta have like a chili starter loaf. Yeah. <laughs> For your sourdough chili. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, speak now. You don't want to be the guinea pig next thing you know, you're growing a third leg. Yeah. I don't, I don't want that, because I, I look at things like... You know, remember when cocaine was just a medicinal, and turns out, no, <laughs> everybody starts falling apart. Asbestos, right? I'm wary. I'm wary. I'm not paranoid. I'm just. No. I don't want to go first. You're prepared. There's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, because the chili is where the old burgers go. Yeah, the old burger is fine. Day old, that's not a problem. When you when you got to worry is when you use day old chili to make the burgers. Yeah, when it becomes an oral boros. <laughs> yeah, what's happening here now? Just dry it out, piece it together. Like it was Anthony Bourdain, I believe, that did that with his uh, Kitchen Confidential of like, these are the scary days to get fish because it's definitely been there yeah, for a while. Yeah, yeah. Like, I get you there. Don't mess around with the sea. No, absolutely. I'm scared. Like, I'm scared of the ocean. I might run into James Cameron while I'm down there. <laughs> Fungus with a two dollar Taco Hut. I'm at the Pizza Bell. I'm at the combination Taco pizza. Hut. Pizza Bell. <laughs> Yeah, there was a radioactive makeup at one point. Definitely a good idea to see what happens with something new. Yeah, there used to be like old cough syrup had like heroin in it. You're speaking my language. Yeah, the, like no wonder they got up, like got yeah. to school uphill both ways. <laughs> were, all these kind of drugs. Yeah, don't go on Mondays. Leftover from the weekend. It depends on where you go. Yeah. Started really liking grocery store sushi. What, you getting it from like a fresh or a Trader? No, Trader Joe's doesn't do that. Yeah, my uh, my Metro Market, which is like owned by Kroger, does uh, does sushi. I'm 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 gonna be honest. I'm pretty 
as someone who lived on the coast for like 12 years, I'm relatively hesitant of uh, raw fish um, from living in Wisconsin. Like Wisconsin has great fish, but it's like lake fish. You got a cook. lake, yeah. Yeah, and then you, you you're not eating that kind of stuff raw. So uh, I've been I've been pretty pretty hesitant about sushi in the Midwest. Yeah, if it's or not if cooked, I don't have, want it. Yeah, or if I am gonna have it, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know go somewhere where it's kind of pricey to where I hopefully assume that they are uh, really treating it with care. Yeah, yeah. Like where I live, I am landlocked. I'm two degrees sure. landlocked. So any sushi, I'm like, this is not from. No, yeah, this is not from anywhere near here. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Whole Foods has sushi. Yeah, they tend to. Not a big hole. Really good. I mean, it's seven bucks for eight rolls. Not bad. Yeah, like they have a they have a sushi Wednesday here. Everything's every roll's half off. Big old sushi Wednesday. You gotta you gotta you gotta go with the names that uh, uh, have start with the same letter though. You can't be having sushi Wednesday. Oh, sushi Sunday. You gotta have sushi Sunday. Sushi Sunday, sushi Saturday, like Taco yeah. Tuesday, Trump Taco Center. Tuesday, Wing Wednesday. Yeah. LeBron James tried to uh, mm. tried to trademark Taco Tuesday. Like wow. what, are, what are we doing, LeBron? <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, he's, he's that friend. It's like, hey, I invented this. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. There was a tweet going viral where guys like, "Have you ever heard of Bottle Night? You probably haven't, because me and my girlfriend oh my uh, invented it, and it's where one month, one night a month, we turn off our phones, we drink a bottle of wine, and we talk." And I'm like, "You just invented like talking with your significant other. That's not. Yeah, it's, that's not it's, anything it's, like." <laughs> Like wine night. Yeah. Fucking cavemen were like, I've, like munching on berries that that uh, changed their personalities and then speaking to their partners. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot what it was. It was a, uh, I don't remember the term, but essentially they had reinvented uh, going for a walk without your phone. <laughs> it was like a disconnect, something. I, yeah. I don't. But yeah, they had invented or reinvented it all. Like, yeah. All right. Interesting. That's just date night. Yeah, it's the wine Wednesday. Literally just know. yeah. What are you, like? What are we doing? Just yeah. Turn your fucking Lampy phones off. <laughs> Lampy with a two hundred supermarket sushi is great if you have a big meeting the next day. You really want to get out of. Oh my that's god, true. body that's on true. the line for for this could have been an email. Yeah, for the love for the love of the game, right there. Yep. Like Musk inventing the tunnel. Yeah, the little, little rope. Who who of us hasn't though? Have you guys never reinvented something? Oh, Come I up absolutely. With a word? I feel like I, I did know. something recently, where I was like all excited about an idea, and then I'm like, oh, that's literally I just that's a thing already. Like that's already a very a thing I was literally just doing. So, oh no, like, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> da -da. What Taco Tuesday become a hilarious thing because apparently some little place in New Jersey had the trademark, but just in the state, y'all can't, y'all can't take that. That is, that is the People's Day. That is the People's Day, absolutely. You can't take Taco Tuesday. The People's Day. Mm -hmm. So Taco Bell did a Taco Tuesday for everyone except in New Jersey. They deserve it. Does Taco Bell do Taco Tuesday? I don't know. I it's usually think of like local day. places or bars that do Taco Tuesdays. I should find one, you know? Yeah. Always find yourself. Be a local. Be a regular. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. You get treated like a king. Yeah. I could do... When they name the sandwich after you, that's how you've made it. There was a Mexican oh. spot near me in uh, San Francisco, and uh, famously the woman who owned it and who was just always there, whenever you would enter, would just scream, Hola Guapo! to uh, everyone. And it, it was always great, because there were certain people who were like, oh, she only calls me Guapo. I'm like, no, she calls everyone <laughs> Guapo. She thinks we're all <laughs> handsome. <laughs> Don't do it. That's funny. Don't get it probably, probably, she's probably Chilango. Yeah, oh, they're, she was great. They're, yeah, this is very known as like, what's up? Hey, baby, I yeah. got you right now. What can I do for you, my prince? I think yeah, it was, they, I think they, it was they, great. They make you feel so loved. Yeah. yeah. And taken care of. They're great. Hola, precioso. Hola, como esta? Yeah. That means she's not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's service right there. It'd be great, though, if you went there with, like, shit. If you went there with a group of people and she said, hola, guapo, to everyone except one. <laughs> like, could you imagine being the one person she didn't think was handsome? Damn, I'm not guapo. Not guapo enough. 
the original parasocial relationship. No, <laughs> see, the thing about the food industry is it's actually called, the, its full name is the food and Sir, hospitality yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The Mexican women I stayed with in California call me Flaquito, so there's that. Little, little flaquito. skinny, yeah. Little skinny? I mean, a little skinny, yeah. It's adorable. Then you just gotta leave, yeah. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, if you're the extra. one, if you're the odd guapo out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guapless? Oh. You're guapless. Uh, I have no guap, but I must dip. I must. Charges an extra extra ninety for guac. <laughs> done it. I love that Korean barbecue tacos became a thing, and a place nearby opened up with them. Yeah, there's there's um, some new generation of food combos coming out. Yeah, it's interesting. Nice blend of the cultures. Yeah. Give me a nice like. Nice curry taco. Like what Ooh, happened? Yeah, it's a very saucy thing. Here, old ladies call me gordito or another ito that I can't write on English for obvious reasons. Yeah. Another ito. Mi güerito. This guy's just being a fucking. They were like, "Come, flaquito, come and serve egg, beans, tortillas," which was great, but super heavy. They're trying to fatten you up. It's uh. It's, it's that like it's affection. They don't want you to starve. Yeah, they're doing it out of love. Mm. Are you a toast enjoyer? I love toast. Oh, yeah. There's some you foods toast, that the more you toast them, the better they get. Yeah, that's bread. Bread's op. Toast it once, it's bread. Toast again, it's toast. Toast another, it's a crouton. You just toast keep toasting. You, yeah, you got breadcrumbs now to make something delicious with it. Um, What do you mean toast like alcohol? What? Like a toast, like a yeah, like hold it up and, and a toast. Mm. Brad with a two dollars guap is my fave game using four keys to be handsome. Ah, guap Bennett Foddy's guap. I like it. But, uh, what is this thing? Like? This thing. Yeah, so they hard. used to they used to mean money too. Having the guap, you got a lot of money. Mm. I don't know if that was a trend. I'm not sure what happened to the word. I haven't seen it used. Jesus. Just came and went. Come on, bread popping out of the toaster directly in your mouth. Oh, yeah. A slather a little butter on that, a little marmalade. Oh, yeah. The smell is impeccable alone. The chicken shell tacos at Taco Bell. I saw that. Yeah, they, instead of like they would just make meat tacos. The oh, shells were meat. That's insane. Holding meat. Yeah. That's too much. Like I know, like I, I have my whole don't mix your meat things, but like that's that's insane, right? Like that's too much. I I don't know. To me, it just it, it, find it, you imagine like makers. having a burger and you take off the buns, you know? Yeah, but then you're replacing the buns with like chicken patties, right? Not really, no. Because it was essentially just, yeah, the KFC double down. It was like, I mean, essentially just a chicken taco, but take off the, take away the tortilla. It seems, it's, you're, it seems you're paying risky. more for less here. Yeah. Seems risky. It's, it's just a fiscally responsible way to eat a taco. Uh, probably not. No, I don't know. I've been out of the taco eating game. Oh, I see it now. Never mind. Yeah, it was like a. Just like two chicken cutlets with, with some shit and going a bunch of stuff in the middle. Yeah, yeah, a lot of action. Excessive. A lot of action. Uh, it scares me. I see a lot of people going for boneless burgers now, less carbs or something. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I don't like defacing my food like that. I, I think if I was gonna go for something lighter, I'd get me some like spring rolls. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't like feeling like I had to. Take away from the meal for the calorie. Yeah. I just go for a, a, a light calorie meal. Yeah, because there's plenty of great tasting light calorie things. Oh, yeah. And low calorics. Oof. And just listen to the stream and combo is very similar to two stone people talking right now. It's almost. I'm pretty it's, hungry. It's almost lunchtime. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty hungry, to be honest. Um, we got about 15 minutes left, so you know what I'm going to do? 
Cerveza Cristo. <laughs> uh, no, because uh, I am playing this on Switch, that means we are able to do a cheeky little Suica. Suica. I haven't Chico in, Suica. I haven't squeaked in quite a while. I also bought this little game called Chico and the Magic Orchids. What is that? Uh, it looks like a little, it's almost like Zelda. We'll, we'll try a little, we'll play five minutes of Chico, and then we'll go to Sweet Kingdom. I don't know what, I'm, honestly, I've not played this game yet. It it's looks five like nights of Freddy's, five minutes of Chico's. Five minutes of Chico's. Uh, Chico's is, uh, it looks like Link's Awakening. So it looks, you even look at the font. Oh. You even look, or even look, yeah. look at the background. Yeah. It's like the original Game Boy. Full What's color, pixel here? grid. Full color, auto palette, fixed palette. We'll do full color. Okay, We've all deserved full color. Yeah. I have so no idea what this game is. I just bought it for like $5 to see what's going on. Did you go in the Magic Orchards? Little, little, uh, so that says Magic Orchards. Orchards? Orchids? Orchards. Oh, orchards? Or or orchards, yeah. Orch trees, not orchids? Not like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lampy with the 100 bitties, 100 bitties. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We're sweeping. Well, we're not sweeping yet. Sweet. Right now, we're... Yeah. I like the three difficulties are no sweat. You start with five hit points. Normal, you start with three, and then tough nut, you start with one. Oh, all right. I'm absolutely going no sweat. I don't Press know how. Mode. I don't know how to play the game. Okay, we're no sweat. Look, I've seen to open the game. Oh. Oh, got nutted in the head. Died. Okay, so the nut fell, landed on a portal, and sent him to Greenhorn something. It left very this quickly. Is this is all in his head. He's having a coma. So you can jump immediately, like you have the rock's feather over here. I'm a strategy B. We'll teach you how to play. Here's a tip. The thing uh, is a checkpoint for Chico. Looks like a checkpoint for Chico. That was the name of my band in high school. Checkpoints for Chico. Checkpoint for Chico. <laughs> uh, so we got to roll a nut and, and use it to open a door. I don't need your, your strategies B. Oh, how am I? Uh, oh, yeah, I might need your strategy now, B. Oh, uh, tragic. No, I didn't. I fixed it. Yeah, this Cerveza is very much Cristo is real. Cerveza Cristo. <laughs> Snake of the it's Garden playing real. more. Playing more Power Watch Simulator. <laughs> Just keeps popping up in the corner. Uh, oh. Did great. A little rolling action, a little B action. Even the Just even the, the the lock and keys look like uh, Link's Awakening's lock and keys. Says, um, some oh, Judeo Christian no. crosses here. Yeah. <laughs> Like you What's said, up? I think we're in heaven. I think we we died. This, yeah, this is for the Lord. Yeah, it's a trampoline, little pipes. These things are pinball switches. If you can make all of them light up at once, something will happen. Try letting the walnut go. I don't have the walnut. Do I need to bring the walnut with me? Oh, it's one of those. Take it with you forever. Oh, uh, it's, it's a, a it's a walnut. You are the scroll from Ice Age. It's a walnut. I'm up. Yeah, you're you're scrat. Think that, oh, and think I shot it across bad. the spike oh, pit. I feel good. This feels this feels good. Okay, open the one. No. It sounded like you Oh, maybe I leave it on the one and then put myself on the other. Can you do? No, I can't. Is there another nut to get? Two nuts? Oh, Is I bounced it back game? and forth. That's why they said oh. it was a pinball mop. Wow. Take my nut with me. Is this an old game? I'm kind of thinking of Zelda or Oracle of Season looking at this. Uh, no, this is a uh, new game, but very heavily inspired by those old Zelda games. Uh, but I'm going to go to Suica. I just wanted to show everyone this because I bought this and I haven't played it yet. and It looks nice. Yeah. Um, so we Suica now. Uh, so, so did it, you like Berserk Boy? I did. Yeah. It, um, mm -hmm. it, it The the mm -hmm. movement and powers all feel very good. And after two hours, I felt like I had a better handle on uh, a sort of movement speed stretch. Uh, combat. So if if uh, a Mega Man X crossed with Sonic the Hedgehog uh, pairing seems like something you might enjoy, uh, I, I highly recommend it. Oh boy. Eric, you can't be frustrated that you have to change the game on Twitch <laughs> because none of, neither, we just weren't going to do it. I don't know, it's fine. <laughs> I like you know, it when they say wrong game, Eric. Yeah. When they say wrong game, because then we could shame them. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh man, I haven't played know. Suica in so long. Everything looks different. I don't think it is different, but it looks different. It's in your head. It looks brighter. It the just looks, it looks smaller? It's crazy. Yeah. Da, da, 
da, da, da. The tunes in this game, let me tell you, the tunage. The, Suica, the fact that we, we went through an entire award cycle and Suica didn't win any awards for uh, <laughs> best score. It's a fucking joke, man. See, we'd playing. have done our own. Yeah, exactly. We, we, had, we had no jobs at the time this year. Well, we're going to make our own awards show. We exactly. Like five of them. Yeah, Yahtzee's. Uh, if, I, if I play more games, I'll try one. There you go. Marty got a I like the idea that everyone games. gets their own little award show, or it's a single award show and everyone has their own little segments <laughs> that are just completely go. different. Oh man, I'm I, always, I always wanted that from like the old. It's like, we have 15 reviewers. Well, I want to hear 15 different takes. Yeah, on the same exactly. Game. Yeah. I'm, play, I'm playing like, I haven't played in so long. Mate. I'm playing like garbage. Is there a strategy? I can't tell. You're yeah, doing great. You there's lost. like a bit. My thing is with Suica is I don't feel like I've gotten any better than the very oh. first time I've played it. However, there's certain games where I'm like, okay, I'm like seeing the code. I'm like, I'm in there. I'm in there. And then there's other games where I'm like, what am I doing? And this is one of those little, games where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh man, a little, little sweet of sweaty. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was it? My girlfriend loved this game until yeah. she dropped one in the middle. She wasn't anywhere near the edge, but it bounced. Yeah. Straight up. And she was like, what? Yeah, yeah. What was this? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there are some uh, there are some Suica deaths that are uh, some real bullshit, and you just have to kind of come to terms with the fact that like Suica gives and Suica takes. All right, get some Suica pops down here. Things are looking good. Marty has lost many a run to Rocket Fruit. Oh, is that what yeah, you call absolute Rocket, Rocket Fruit. Fruit. Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been I've been shenaniganed once or twice in this game, if I'm being honest. A little October sky. Yeah, no, I always feel like I have a. I start off with a nice, clean system. Yeah. Because right? I, I, I was a produce boy once. And I was yeah. like, yeah, this is how I, I was nice a produce decorated. boy. It's great. It was all coming back. And then it's about this point where I go, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if I start wherever taking that, risks? I think I'll yeah, yeah, wherever they fit, you know, that's yeah. good. Do we think the very short music loop makes it more addictive? It's, yeah, especially if you can't tell where it starts and where it ends. That's the thing is it feels like an Ouroboros, and it's so good. Like, the song, like, I don't think there's any other game that could have, like, a 20-second song that just remains good for the entirety of the game. It doesn't speed up when you get to the top, either. Other games would feel like they need to, like, oh, ramp up the pressure as you're getting oh, close Lord. to the end of a run, and they don't do it. Let's give you all the anxiety at the yeah. top end. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Oh my goodness! A little happy pineapple here. Oh, yeah. I've I've that gotten happy. I've gotten some melons. So that was my pride. Yeah, when you get melons. a when you get a true Suica, that's when you start feeling like a living god. You start feeling like Paul Atreides. Oh no! That's that's Dune. That's Dune. We're Dunin. That's, 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 we're doing Dune too. <laughs> Dune, how you doing? How you doing? Dune Joey. Too, how you doing? <laughs> why, is, why is Joey from Friends here? How did how he make his doing? way to Arrakis? <laughs> Tell you what, though, I kept seeing Paul Atreides memes, and I was yeah. like, but "That's Timothy Chalamet's character. He doesn't look like a Paul." Yeah, he just—he's a Paul. To be honest, it might have some religious connotations. Who knows? Also, like I thought he was Duncan Idaho. Oh no! And that's... I thought Jason Momoa was Paul. I was like, oh. "These names, these characters for these names—they don't fit." <laughs> Granted, Duncan Idaho sounds like a type of potato. Duncan Idaho absolutely sounds like a kind of potato. Duncan, Duncan Idaho is a very I'm silly name. In a movie filled with very silly names, it is uh, one of the silliest, I would say. It's Dune in, in the future, or is it Star Wars of like futuristic uh, past? I believe it is the far future. Okay. I've not read the Dune books, but I've uh, yeah. I've read a lot of Dune Wikipedia summaries. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know, Frost is lost in Dune. Yeah, I tried. I was like, I understand Duncan Idaho, kind of. Like I, I, you understand him like on a biblical level. Like I get, I yeah, get yeah, me, yeah. me and him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like everybody keeps making the same mistakes. I get you. Yeah. Twenty twenty six. Oh, damn, that's in the near future. It does not take place in twenty twenty six. That was a lie. <laughs> oh, that's got to be a lie. Although I don't know, like if you wrote that book in the sixties or whatever, you'd be like, this is what the future will be like. No, it's the year 10,191, so... There you go. ways away. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, we probably Not won't like make that. it there. Aw. I don't want to be negative, but... 
Um, like iRobot takes place in 2035. We're getting close. We're getting close. We gotta get these fucking robots. We gotta get them a moving. We're not gonna make it. I like at this pace. I don't know. I, they always say technology like it gets better exponentially. Yeah, but I, I don't want. You I don't know. That? Are we doing good? <laughs> Doesn't feel like we're doing good. Doesn't feel like that much has changed in the last uh, 25 years. It's like we would have made it on time, but we got sidetracked by VTubing. That was, yeah. a, that was a good time. <laughs> we're blaming VTubing for everything. No, not blaming. It's, it's like this was a good place to go. Yeah, I mean, we could have ended here and been fine, but you guys wanted to keep going. <laughs> You guys wanted to keep going. Uh, you ever feel that? Yeah. That, that's, that's my like kind of old head vibe of yeah. just like, you know what? Tech's not bad right now. Yeah. We could have stayed here. Yeah. <laughs> that's on us. That's how I feel. Like with all these uh, corporate layoffs, I just feel like, you know, we could have stayed where we were yeah. a few years ago. I'd have been fine. Should I watch Dune Part 1 finally tonight? Maybe eat some kebab? Oh, that sure, sounds, that sounds like an evening. Yeah, don't eat it in the evening. dark though. Yeah, kebab in the dark. Yeah, no, you gotta you gotta eat kebab in God's light. Yeah, that, that's scary. Don't be shy. Yeah, don't be shy with your kebabs. Um, I'm getting things are getting Tokyo a little Tokyo just started here. autonomous Uber Eats delivery robots. Oh. Oh, uh, Madison has that. Wisconsin has that. There's these little like droids downtown near the campus, and sometimes they'll. Oh shit! I got popped. I got popped by a Suica. Yeah, Suica popping. rocket. Um, you know what? I always say if uh, if if uh, America existed, I consider it like if, if Columbus came to America, I consider it oh. a good run. So 1825, I consider it a good run. Um, yeah, Madison has these little robots. 1800s, terrible, terrible century, but good Suica run. Um, we'll probably we'll, we'll probably settle up there. Um, yeah, but Madison does have uh, sweet, uh, uh, little little like. Star Wars droids that go downtown and deliver food, and then they'll get stuck in snowbanks, and it's just very sad. Yeah, they'll so be dude, driving by. You're like, you're poor, you poor little guy. Rob them? I don't think anyone is robs them. Yeah, I mean, does it have guns? Like, does it have self defense? Yeah, is it like R two D two? It'll tase you at least <laughs> if you go for my chicken tikka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, what do you? Uh, what, what do you? What do you have going on? What should? What should folks check out? Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, we just dropped the Skull and Bones review. That was a good time. Yeah. I had a great old time. I had a very mild time on that game. It was, it was, it was a game of all time. Yeah. Uh, so that's what you get up for now as you await your next review, which will be next Monday, and that's going to be on the lovely uh, dopamine dripping Bellatro. It's illegal for some of you. I'm sorry. Well, it's just that good. <laughs> just that good. And uh, what else is going on here, Marty? Uh, what do we have? Yeah, we had a we had a great slate, despite the the um, lack of human beings uh, in in our virtual offices. We had a uh, great slate of stuff. Yeah, check out Frost's um, cold take on Skull and Bones. Yahtzee also had a ZP on call or a fucking ooh, that's not what we call him. Fully ramblematic on call, uh, Skull and Bones. Darren had an amazing backdrop that uh, Jesse Schwab helped on the edit uh, on Dune Part One, the aforementioned Dune Part One. And then another Senbari Ramble Manic uh, went up earlier today. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't watched it yet, and I don't know what it's about. I think Vampire, Vampire was on the art. About so. Moral Dilemmas. Moral Dilemmas, there you go. I just haven't watched that it yet. That weren't actually Dilemmas. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and then for the rest of the week, uh, I think we'll be back here tomorrow, same time. Uh, Frost, if you're available, maybe stream some some Unicorn Overlord. Oh, let's go. Do you like Excited. those unicorns? Uh, we're going to see oh, if we yes. can make any of the characters kiss. Uh, and then uh, this weekend, uh, there will be no Better With Friends or newly released. However, we have not locked down the official time, but there is going to be a special stream uh, live from uh, with all the Adventures and I folks on Saturday. Probably Saturday in the evening. Like, prepare for, like, old school game night time. Maybe, like, a 6 p.m.-ish uh, central. Um, all of them will be on with a very, a very exciting, uh, very different, but v a very exciting stream. So we'll have more details on that soon, but uh, clear your calendars Saturday evening for that. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Frost, thank you so much for joining me. Eric, thank you so much for uh, moderating in the chat and just being great. Uh, and then otherwise, uh, thank you all so much for supporting, for watching, for hanging out with us. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, and we'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. Bye, all.